Welcome to Distance Education at Compton College. We strive to support the campus community through teaching and learning with distance education courses. Here at Compton College, distance education takes place primarily online through Canvas, a content management system or learning management system, CMS or LMS for short. Taking a distance education course can feel completely different from taking a class in person. This orientation will help you gain a better understanding of online learning, the learning management system, and identify resources and technology available to you as a Compton College student. As an online student, you will use a different set of skills when taking a distance education course. Some examples include learning how to use the CMS and other available technology, managing your time completing your coursework and other obligations, becoming comfortable communicating through email. There are some common myths that many people believe when it comes to taking online classes. We want to make sure you don't have a mistake of believing these myths and potentially jeopardizing your success. Myth number one, online courses are easier. The truth is online courses are just as challenging as classes that meet in person. Myth number two, you can finish as fast as you'd like. The truth is, most instructors control how fast you complete the content. They do this to make sure you are ready for more advanced topics. Myth number three, online courses are cheaper. The truth is, online courses cost just as much as a class you take in person. There are registration fees and the cost of books and supplies you may need for your class. Myth number four, you can hide and be anonymous. The truth is most instructors expect you to participate in class and all instructors have access to course reports that summarize that information. Just know that you can't hide in an online course. Myth number five, you don't need technical skills to take an online course. The truth is you do not need to be an expert, but it helps if you are comfortable using the essential technology for an online course, such as, the learning management system, your computer, and an internet browser. Myth number six, instructors are available 24 seven. The truth is your instructor will not be available 24 seven. So make sure you ask about their communication policy so that you know how to effectively communicate with them. Myth number seven, it is easier to make excuses. The truth is, online courses are not easier to make excuses for because your instructor has probably encountered that excuse before. To make sure you don't end up making excuses for incomplete work, get clear guidance from your instructor on what needs to be completed for the course and plan ahead. The Distance Education Department's website is a great resource for students who are looking for instructions on how to use Canvas or get help when you have a question. When you visit the Distance Education website, make sure you bookmark it so you can have it available when you need it. When first logging into Canvas, you will land on your dashboard. Here you will find course cards for active courses you are enrolled in. Each card has the course term, name of the course, and course section. There may also be small icons on the course card that provide you with information about that course. The icons on this course card indicate there are announcements, discussion board items, and an assignment respectively. Each course card has three dots on the card in the top right hand corner that allows you to change the course card color, give the course a nickname, or to reorganize the cards. Giving a course a nickname only changes for you and does not impact the class. Clicking on the card will allow you to enter the course. The Canvas calendar on the dashboard is a tool for students to keep track of their assignments. Course items with due dates appear here, and you can also add your own events. These items will display on your dashboard either under the to-do list or coming up list. You can change the dashboard view by selecting the three dots across from the dashboard title. You have additional options for list view or recent activity. List view shows your course activity with dates and links to course items. 
Recent activity lists recent course items, including assignments and feedback. The global navigation bar allows you to access Canvas features that you will frequently need to use. Selecting account on the global navigation bar will open a menu of Canvas options. However, for the sake of this orientation, we will review notifications and profile settings. On the notification page, you can set up your account notification preferences. These notifications by default will be sent to your Compton College email address. For most notifications, you have the option to be notified immediately or receive a daily or weekly summary of course notifications. It is recommended that you leave notifications set to notify immediately as this is the most common way your instructor will provide you with course updates and information. The profile option allows you to fill in information about yourself and include a picture. Having a profile helps your fellow classmates get to know you. The settings page is where you can make some changes to your Canvas account. You can change your preferred pronouns, add your phone number or additional emails, or change your default language. The Courses option brings up a list of the current courses you are enrolled in. If you can't find a course or need access to courses you were previously enrolled, select the All Courses option where you will be able to access your previous courses in Canvas. The Canvas inbox is one way of communicating with your instructors. This inbox does not connect to your personal email, but is an additional way to communicate with other people within Canvas. We will now take a look at common Canvas features inside of courses. Not all features reviewed here may be used inside your class. However, it is good to be aware they exist just in case you come across them in the future. The homepage includes information from your instructor about the course and how to get started. To the right of this screen, you have a to-do list and upcoming list that is specific to the course you are in. To the right of the global navigation menu are course navigation options. You can use course navigation to move through various course materials and activities specific to the course you are in. Each course and course navigation menu is customized by the instructor. Not all options may be available when taking a class, so check with your instructor if you have questions about the availability of course content. If the announcement link is available, this is where you can see all the announcements associated with the course. The most current announcements are listed at the top of the page. Modules are where your instructor has organized content for you. Follow the order of the modules to access your course content. You should follow along the path that has been developed to experience everything your instructor wants you to learn. The assignments page contains a list of all course assignments that must be completed. You will be able to access additional information about each assignment by selecting the assignment title. You will also be able to submit your assignment on the assignment page. Rubrics are an instructor's way of informing you what is expected on a particular assignment and how you will be graded. Typically, rubrics include grading criteria and scoring information. If your instructor assigns you a quiz, there will most likely be a link in the module. There is also a quiz section where all the quizzes in the course can be accessed. On the quizzes page, you can select a specific quiz to access the instructions and the start quiz button. For those taking a quiz, your professor may ask you to use a test proctoring software while taking the quiz. Discussions are where you can find all the discussion topics related to your course. Once you select a topic, you will be provided with instructions on replying to the discussion topic. You can also reply to your instructor's or other student's discussion posts. The grades page is the best way to keep track of your grades in a course. The page only displays items that will be graded for points. This page will display your score with access to feedback from your instructor if they provided any. Learning how to use Canvas takes time and practice. 
You may have an instance where you need help or have a question. The student support button will take you to the student support hub. Here you can find information about the many services available to Compton College students. Select the service you need to get contact information or to visit their website. The tutoring services link will take you to the Student Success Center's Canvas page where you can get more information about the tutoring services available to Compton College students. The help menu can be used to contact a counselor at Compton College or to get assistance with a Canvas related question if the distance education department is closed. Outside of using Canvas to complete coursework, Compton College students have access to the Microsoft Office Suite for free, along with having the option to purchase the Adobe Creative Suite at a discounted price. You can find instructions on how to access these tools on the Distance Education Department's website under Student Resources. We have reached the end of this orientation to distance education at Compton College, and we hope you feel more comfortable using Canvas and know where to find resources when you need them. If you want more Canvas how-to information, you can access a self-guided course called Passport to Canvas, which is available on your dashboard. If you have any questions or need assistance pertaining to an issue with Canvas, please contact the Distance Education Department. You can contact the Distance Education Department by email at distance underscore ed at compton.edu. Make sure to visit the Distance Education website and select the Canvas Support and or Student Resources pages for guides and student-related information on using Canvas and other online tools.